Okay, we're going to have a great time. My name is Richard Steele. Welcome, everybody. Um, I heard you all laugh a minute ago. I hate when people do that. I didn't hear the joke. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty fantastic night. Uh, this program is part of the Chicago Jazz Festival's Piano Forte Sessions. The Chicago Jazz Festival is produced by the City of Chicago, programmed by the Jazz Institute of Chicago. The Piano Forte Sessions are supported by a grant from the John T. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. We want to thank them and our radio sponsor, WDCB, and especially the Piano Forte Foundation, who have graciously hosted this series for the fifth year. So uh, you guys in this audience, obviously you know that Thelonious Monk wrote more than Round Midnight, right? <laughs> so um, there's some great, uh, some great appreciation for This is a piano duo night, and you're going to hear some great stuff. Two great piano players. Um, I think that, if I recall correctly, I think at some point, uh, I think Jeremy Kahn was a Thelonious Monk uh, competition winner about 30 years ago, a long time ago, or at least he was a participant in that. Uh, was it Jeremy? Okay. I know that was a long time ago. You know, your hair was black back then, right? Okay. And uh, Steve Million, who's a Chicagoan and has been around for many years, and these guys do some great work. So we want you to listen intently and uh, absorb all of the Thelonious Monk compositions and some great piano playing. So welcome Double Monk.
course, was the great song by Thelonious Monk, which all of these songs will be by. <laughs> this is entitled Baya, and we lead off every one of our concerts with Baya. <laughs> <laughs> don't, know, don't really get that, but that's sort good. of counterintuitive. It is counterintuitive. <laughs> that's kind of most music. All the way around. And we're going to continue with Ugly View. You can guess as to which one of us is which. <laughs>
a song called Criss Cross. It's not written about the guy that sang the song from the movie Arthur. It's different, <laughs> different Criss Cross. Wasn't there like a, a rap guy named Criss Cross? <laughs> sure, like, like you don't know. Okay. This is, uh, this is just me holding down the fort in the left hand and uh, I'll be using both of my left hands on this and, and Steve is going to be adding all the wonderful filigree. Let's see what happens. Thank you. 
feel like I got that like repetitive motion syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll switch roles on this one. Uh, this one's called Oscar T. However, my part is much easier than the part he just played. So. <laughs> Uh, this is a, I don't know how many have heard of the tune Asuka T. Anybody heard of that? That's a, yeah. <laughs> That's an unusual bump tune, and this is quite the reimagining of that song, as was the one we just did. So, dig it.
And now, we decided that when we do these concerts, each one of us would play a solo tune. So I have picked the song called Work to play as my solo turn, tune. Turn. Tune turn. It's a turn with tune. <laughs> Steve and I have also done this program uh, with a dancer, which was a lot of fun. There's not a ton of room up here, so unfortunately we couldn't have Ariane with us today. We hope to do that within the next few months at, a, at another location. We'll keep you posted. But, uh, you know, Monk was known if he was particularly enjoying one of his performances, he would get up from the piano and start doing a little, little dance around the <coughs> You can find it on, on YouTube, but uh, people uh, 
really looked forward to this big hulking man wearing a, a fez and, and tortoiseshell sunglasses getting up and dancing by himself. So uh, we have incorporated an, an actual professional dancer. Uh, so, but in your mind, picture, picture dancing of some sort. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, Jackie Ng? Yes. This is a new one. Well, it was written many years ago. Yes, it's a new one for us.
Why, thank you. I'd like to thank Lauren Deutsch and the Jazz Institute of Chicago for having us kick off this wonderful week of jazz. I'd like to thank Thomas Zoles and Piano Forte for giving us these nice instruments. Um, I'm always happy when I push a note down and it comes up all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> and you think I'm kidding. <laughs> And we'd like to thank WDCB for also taking care of us. I understand that this is either being broadcast or going to be broadcast to their radio audience. So uh, for those of you listening at home, I'm sorry that you can't see me in my strapless black cocktail dress. Because <laughs> it has a certain quality to it. <laughs> Uh oh, Steve Millions calling in Audible. We're gonna play. Who knows? Oh, this is that one. Uh. Okay. Give me a second to. Okay. Good. Yeah. You're gonna count it off, right?
looks like uh, from the old clock on the wall, uh, we have time for two more tunes, um, one of which will be me all by myself, uh, just to balance it out. Uh, learn a lot of good words from monk songs like crepuscule and uh, epistrophe. Uh, this one is uh, more uh, onomatopoetic and it's called uh, Trinkle Tinkle. song and it's non-negotiable because I got to get to another gig. I would love to give each and love for every one of you a, a huge lingering hug but don't be insulted when I give it the brush off. Uh, but just know that it's 
I love playing here. We love playing for you. And uh, you want to say anything, Steve? Sure. It's an honor for me to play with this man across the field. Oh. <laughs> And I want to be just like Steve when I grow up. <laughs> oh, is this? So the game plan on this, uh, it's kind of like I Got Rhythm, kind of, in a monkish sort of way. It's called Humph, another onomatopoeia. Uh, uh, each soloist will be accompanied and then play by himself, and then we've incorporated mayhem into the mix. <laughs> what could possibly be wrong?